It's doing its moving and warping. It does the scanning. And before we had it at 9%, now it's at 14%. And we will do, again, we'll rinse and repeat. You can see the dot kind of moved closer to that, so we'll... Oh, i got to increase the size first. And we'll put our arrows on it again. level. Alright, and then I'm going to make sure it's up, and you see it's, sometimes your probes move, I don't know if I moved them down, but sometimes they will do that from moving it side uh, horizontal. Alright, so <coughs> we're on the dot. <coughs> Excuse me, we're ready to do our scan again. Oh, I forgot to decrease the size. <coughs> I made a mistake. Sometimes it's good to make it on the same one also it also increases the size and figures out exactly where it's at but I will change the size again but that one brought it up to 26 percent and it turned it yellow which is what we want and we will do it again I'm already there with it but I'm not exactly level so I will make these level make it the best as I can When you start doing these a lot, you can start guessing what it is as you start scanning it down. And there's another way you can uh, decrease the size. We have them at 8, so we're going to put it at 4. Right. And then we will do our scan, analyze again. I'm guessing it's a wormhole. And we got it up to 33% and it's still unknown. That's why I'm guessing it's a wormhole. And we will once again rinse and repeat. Oh, let me do that. We will increase the size and put the arrows on it once again. This I found is a lot easier. Alright. And then we want to level it out. Make sure it is exactly level. Here we go. And then we will decrease our size again. I'll just do it over here. I showed you where it was at. I'm bringing it down to 2 AU. And we will do our scanning. Go ahead and increase the size here. And we. Looks like. We got off a little bit there, but it's still at 38%. Um, I'll show you a way to what I do when I run into this. As you can see, we got two dots now, but they're very similar, close to each other. Looks like one's going up and one's going down. What I'll do is I'll move the probes over to that similar location, and you want to put them in between where the two dots are. Well, that's what I at least do. If you can think of a better way, you can leave a comment. Alright, and that's about the middle of where the two dots are. And without decreasing the size like uh, we did before, I'll keep it at this one so I can get a good scan of where it's at. Alright, and you see it turned it green. 
We didn't have to go down anymore, but you can. Uh, you can go down to uh, 0.5 and then uh, 0.25. And we have found us a haunted yard, which is a drone plex. And I'm going to go knock it out. And uh, make sure you, once you've done that, you want to recover your active probes. You can also bookmark it from here, bookmark location if you want, or go and check it out and see if it's even worth doing. And for kicks, I will go there now and show you what it's like. We are going to warp to location within zero. Like I said, you can put this uh, scan probe launcher on almost any ship. It's, uh, it doesn't take up, it takes up a high slot and it's, uh, doesn't take up any of your turrets or launchers. And some of these you want to, some of these places, like I'm doing this in high sec, I'm in a 0.7 system right now. So some of these plexes, like these gates, won't allow certain ships to go through. I'm guessing it probably won't allow my cruiser type class to go through. And we'll attempt to go through it, and it won't, as you can see. So then you want to go jump in your assault ship or go make a frigate for this type of thing or a normal cruiser. Um, and that's the end of the tutorial. Make sure you subscribe. I will have more coming also.